marijuana is the most commonly used illegal drug nationwide. It is the third most commonly used drug behind alcohol and tobacco. Lately, it has been a topic across the country. The question is, should we legalize it completely, medically, or not at all? I'm here to tell you that we should legalize it completely. I have consulted government agencies, studies by universities, and other drug information sites to research the pros and cons of marijuana. And I'm here to tell you the pros completely outweigh the cons. The most surprising pro of legalization, uh, as stated by an article on Forbes.com, is that states make billions of dollars off of cannabis sales. The state of California has made around $2.75 billion in medical and recreational marijuana sales, plus taxes. But falling behind them is Colorado at around $1.6 billion, and behind them is Washington at around $1 billion. Each state that has passed marijuana for recreational and medical use has made millions since legislation. This is not the only pro for legislation of marijuana, though. There are several other strong reasons to legalize, including an increase in jobs, a decrease in crime, and various medical benefits. First off, the medical use of marijuana is proven to be helpful for hospitalized patients with excru excruciating diseases or illnesses. As I was doing research on medical uses, I stumbled upon Walter Rodland's story on CanaEffect.org. Despite his age, Walter was an outdoorsman and was typically found in his lawn, uh, gardening or weeding. weeding. All the neighborhood kids referred to him as Grandpa and knew he would always be around if they needed him. That was until he was diagnosed with end-stage chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. There was nothing the doctors could do for him at this point. He suffered from blood clots in his lungs and extreme pain um, when he couldn't breathe at times. He could also rarely, rarely go outside. And as a last resort, his uh, daughter gave him CBD oil, which is an oil extract from marijuana. And within weeks, he saw much improvement. His doctor found that his lungs were healthier than they had been in 20 years. So he was able to re return to his old life, uh, being the neighborhood grandpa who commonly worked in his yard. Well, Walter had great results from cannabis-related medical treatment, and there were plenty of other people out there with similar, similar stories to his. Additionally, as it is now, marijuana is a large part of legal drug sales. According to an article from ThoughtCo.com, crime and violence both within the U.S. and at the U.S.-Mexico border are greatly increased due to illegal selling and buying of marijuana. Legalization would end this crime and take marijuana out of the hands of illegal organizations and drug cartels. Legalization would also help the government regulate marijuana and uh, boost the economy. Instead of paying for the prevention of marijuana sales, they would be able to um, sit back and take in the huge profits that I mentioned earlier. These funds could be used for a variety of uses, such as community improvement projects or the creation of new school facilities. Bringing marijuana under federal control would also create many new jobs. An article from D D DrugPolicy.org says it best, legalizing and regulating marijuana will bring one of the nation's largest cash crops under the rule of law. This will create jobs and economic opportunities in the for formal economy instead of the illicit market. Legalization moves marijuana under government control instead of with black market dealers and provides new opportunities in the economy. I truly believe that this change is necessary. As I have already mentioned, legalization of marijuana would be good for the economy, would reduce crime and allow for its medical benefits. Therefore, I think we should legalize marijuana for all uses at the national level, and that marijuana be, the, be treated the same as alcohol. Before I continue, I want to emphasize that marijuana is not any worse than alcohol. If anything, alcohol has more negative effects than marijuana does. I looked through several different sources comparing alcohol and marijuana, and none of them had any evidence marijuana was worse. There's a claim that marijuana is a gateway drug to harder drugs, but as you can see, alcohol is more of a gateway than cannabis is. Uh, as you see over here, 54% 50 of people's first drug encounter was with alcohol. Marijuana was only 14%, so a lot less. And everything else I found talked about how alcohol is more likely to lead to brain damage, more likely to lead to cancer, and causes more deaths a year than marijuana does. And as you can see over here, overdose deaths, marijuana has none, there's a lot for alcohol. Uh, marijuana reduces uh, sexual assaults. It uh, decreases domestic violence and violent crime. And therefore, that we should treat marijuana the same as alcohol. An important part of this process would be for each state to set a high retail tax and for local governments to impose a tax 
on um, marijuana sales. And states and their cities would decide what these taxes would be, but personally I think a high uh, retail tax would be the most beneficial. These taxes are where the people of the state really see the benefits of legalization. These taxes can go back to their communities for their own improvements. One of these cases, as stated in, as in an article by Time.com, is in Colorado. Colorado made $105 million in tax revenue in 2016 and 17. This money went towards creating housing programs for the homeless and aiding mental health um, programs in jails and schools. People also argue that legalization of marijuana would lead to an increase in crimes, which has been proven to be completely false. According to a 2014 study by the University of Texas at Dallas, the legalization of medical marijuana does not increase crime rates, and instead it leads to a reduction of cr violent crimes. States across the country have found that crime rates decreased when marijuana was legalized. According to an article by ColoradoPolitics.com, studies indicate the recreational marijuana industry has not caused increases in violent crime and that a well-regulated industry can instead decrease crime rates by curtailing black market cartels. Next, there are the medical benefits. I already talked about Walter and his story, and there are thousands of stories like this. The proven health benefits have no negatives with them. Finally, there are the people who believe the consumption of marijuana is immoral. But, the, I mean, this is a valid argument, but those people would also be against uh, the consumption of alcohol or uh, smoking tobacco. So they kind of just need to realize that not everybody follows the same morals as they do and they just, yeah, they'll do what they want. So after this plan is completely set, you see, there's, see the results. You can imagine it. The national economy has grown due to the billions made off of marijuana sales. Cities and states have developed from the tax money. Thousands of jobs have been created and thousands more are to come. As you can see here, uh, there are roughly 125,000 to 160,000 jobs in the marijuana industry, and that's about as many as there are kindergarten teachers and almost as close as bus drivers. So there are a lot of jobs available. And then marijuana is controlled by the government, not uh, drug, drug cartels and illegal organizations, which has led to a decrease in crime nationwide. Lastly, all the people going through cancer and other um, excruciating diseases in which pain relievers do not help their pain, they are able to use marijuana, the CBD oil, to relieve their pain. This would not be a perfect transition, but if done correctly, would majorly benefit our nation. Audience members, I want all of you to remember what I taught you, all the positive things about marijuana. I hope I have encouraged all of you to take a stand on this, and I recommend to all of you to contact your con congressmen or local representatives and relay this information onto them. If we all band together, we can legalize marijuana and bring Kansas into the 21st century. Any questions? I have one. Um, what about marijuana use in children who are sick? What do you think about that? Well, I mean, if they are sick enough that they would need, or that medical marijuana would help them, I think it would be up to the discretion of the parents. Anybody else? Yeah, I got one. Um, how many states have already legalized marijuana? Um, there are 33 plus uh, Washington, D.C. 23 of them have um, legalized just medical, and then 10 others plus D.C. have um, legalized it recreationally. Anybody else? Yeah, can you overdose on marijuana? Um, you can, technically, but uh, there have never been any lethal overdoses. Is that it? All right, thank you, guys.